Today, we're going to see Panzer Mark IV defending his title as reigning champ right here on Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. gentlemen please welcome Mick Foley whoa <laughs> thank you thank you very much the robots are revving up the battle is about to begin this is robot wars extreme warriors on the new TNN where if you build it we will come and smash it Right now, six robots are ready to erupt in three rounds of eye-popping, heart-stopping action. And when the sparks settle, only one finalist will roll out of the arena and on to battle the rest of the best in the Robot Wars Extreme Warriors Championship. Let's go to Carol in the Pits, where it all happens. Thanks, Nick. Hi, I'm Carol Grow, and I'm going to be reporting to you behind the scenes from the pit. Now, this is where all the action takes place before they do battle in the war zone. We've got 50 of the best teams in the USA. You stick with me because we're going to get up close and personal with the robot tiers. The robot wars arena is on fire. The house robots are chomping at the pit. Let's take a look at tonight's lineup. All right, Mick. First up, we've got two Eliminators with three bots each. They're going to be Cyclone, Spin Doctor, and Probophobia. But first up, Panzer Mark IV, Joker, and Snakebite. Remember, Panzer Mark IV defending his title. And this is how Panzer got that title. He went up against the Revolutionist in a hard-fought battle, but that tank-like design proved to be too much for the Spin and Bot. The award, the trophy given to the first ever Robot Wars Extreme Warriors Champion. And joining Panzer will be Joker, the new redesigned Joker, who last time we saw begging for mercy from Dead Metal. I'm here with Sylvan Lake Robot Warriors, and you're back for a second season, and you've got the Joker here. Can you tell us about it? Sure, Carol. Um, yeah, we're back with the new robot. He's got the 45-degree angled spinner with these uh, massive hooks. Uh, it spins at 230 RPMs. It gets up to speed really fast. So do you have any nerves about going against the U.S. reigning champ? No, none whatsoever. We've got the new robot. It's all ready for him, and uh, we're going to take him out. This is Team Viper, and they have Snake Bite here. This is their first time competing in the wars. Tell me how you feel about the competition. Well, we're really excited about being here. There's a lot of good bots. We've got uh, um, uh, Panzer, but we're really not worried about Panzer. Uh, well, we, they're the U.S. champs, you know. No, we're not worried about them. We've got a lot of power. They don't have any power. We can push them around. We're going to probably push them right into the pit. Uh, we've never seen Joker, though, so we're a little worried. they got this big spinning device, so we're kind of concerned about them. So we're going to be a little bit more cautious around them than we are Panzer and, and let the wars begin. Okay, you guys, good luck. Okay. Thanks. I'm here with the reigning champs from the U.S. Do you know anything about your competition and uh, what are your fears? We are Team Stealth. And that's our name and that's our motto. We kind of fly low under the radar. We let our robot do our talking for us in the arena. So if the other people want to talk trash, they can bring it on. We'll just talk back with our robot. Well, Mom always said, be careful of the quiet ones. In Loman, California, snake bite. And there's snake bite in at 195 pounds. He's got a couple of 24 volt, one horsepower motors, not lightning fast, and its weapons are those fangs. From Rancho Palo Verde, Panzer Mark IV. And there's the reigning champ, Panzer Mark IV. In a blistering 217 pounds, it's been completely redesigned with a pneumatic lifter and two golf cart motors. From Rome City, Indiana, Joker. And there's the new redesigned Joker at 213 pounds. Three electric motors, a mean weapon for a rotating disc. Plenty of power, but you better keep the wheels down. Roboteers, stand by. And there's Team Snakebite and the Joker team in together, cheering on the crowd. And the reigning champs with a booth to themselves, Panzer Mark IV. And the 
two house bots in this fight will be Sergeant Bash with his awesome flamethrower. And Dead Metal with a pincers and 3,000 RPM saw. Three, two, one. Right, in this battle, only two are going to go through. One's going to get eliminated. And Panzer, with that six-wheel drive bot, is testing the strength up against Joker spinning disc. That disc doesn't look so fast and powerful in the arena. Not as much as those guys were bragging about. They're snake bite. And Panzer just sizing up Joker to see what kind of damage. And right immediately, Joker gets slammed up against the wall. Decided to take a little piggyback ride courtesy of Panzer. Joker just doesn't have the power off of that weapon in the front to do any serious damage to the strategy-driven Panzer team. They're snake bites. They gotta be in it to win it, and they're right in the middle of everybody right now. Not a whole lot of aggression coming from the snake bite team, as Panzer just testing the waters. Panzer's got an awesome amount of power. He'd be getting more power if he ran 36 volts for those things. He'd get a full 12 horsepower out of those motors. But he doesn't seem to be having any trouble right now pushing his opposition around. As Joker is stoking up the flames over by himself. Maybe that's a new strategy to get hot before you hit the bot. And there's Panzer and Snakebite going head up. As Bash comes out to do a little assisting. Sergeant Bash hits with a flamethrower. It doesn't hit anything as Panzer gets out of the way. He knows better. The audience is screaming for the pit, but it's not open yet. The audience is getting restless as Todd Mendenhall looks down and takes another beating out of Joker in that corner patrol zone, and Dead Metal buries the saw right into Joker, who seems to have lost their power as far as their weaponry is concerned. Them big hooks are just hanging off the side as Panzer deliver snake bite into the corner patrol zone and the capable pincing arms of dead metal who's gonna make snake bite feel it a little poison of their own and there's the 10 second clock the judges are gonna have to make a decision here if there's no clear winners remember only two can go through panzer's not over yet Thank you. Hey, everybody, we're off to a great start here today on Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. A lot of hard-hitting robotic action. Unfortunately, there's no clear-cut winners or losers, so we're going to go to a judge's decision. Let's take a look. Well, those judges will be deciding on damage, style, control, and aggression. And it's clear to me that Panzer filled all the high marks on those categories. It's just a question of who else caught the eye of the judges in this battle. We can look at this one of two ways. We can look at it like we've got two winners, or we can look at it like we've got one loser. And I think, guys, we're going to look at it like, unfortunately, we've got one loser. And anyone want to make a guess as to who that might be? Mm. That would be you guys. Oh, unfortunately, oh, oh, oh. unfortunately, it was no laughing matter for the Joker when that disc kind of stopped working. How do you feel about that? Oh, well, we got some few good hits in, but unfortunately, the disc Stop working. Uh, and we wait, had some wait, wait. Maybe you were watching a different bout than I was. You guys didn't get any good hits. <laughs> You're out of there. <laughs> and there it is. Joker spun its way out of the first eliminator, and Panzer had the last lap. Panzer Mark IV, the reigning U.S. champ, and Snake Bite from Team Viper. We'll move on to round two. Stick around. Welcome back to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors on the new TNN. Let's find out who's up next. All right, next up, Mick, we're going to see Cyclone, Spin Doctor, and Probophobia. I've got Cyclone here, and they're going against two medical-themed teams. One's Probophobia, and the other one is Spin Doctors. What is your strategy against these two teams? Uh, we're just going to cut them in half. With this mechanism right here, I suppose? Yep. Uh, our big blade with cyclonic action should take them out. Can you tell me how it works? Uh, it's got a 12 horsepower motor, giant spinning disc, hardened teeth. It should cut through them like butter. How fast does it go? 700 RPM. 
Okay, and you have tracks rather than wheels on the machine. How's its mobility? Uh, actually, the mobility is very good. The tracks help stabilize it and give it a lot more uh, control over the gyroscopic force of the blade. Have you gone over and checked out the other team? Of course. And what do you think? Tough competition, but we'll see what happens. Well, I've made it over to Probophobia. Tell me what sets you apart from the other medical team called the Spin Doctors. We're professionals. We operate to kill. Our main weapon is the is the probe, and it's designed to get up under the robots and pick the robots up off the ground. Okay, well, we're ready to see that. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, thank you. You guys call yourself the Spin Doctors, and this is the Spin Doctor. How did you get its name? Well, basically, we ended up with this big disc right here, and uh, it spins, and it cuts things open big time. So it's sheer cutting action right Sheer here. cutting action. What's your strategy to take out your competition in the first battle? You've got Cyclone, you've got Probophobia. Well, I think we're just going to try to slice them up. Okay. And we're going to do surgery without anesthesia. From Tucson, Arizona, Cyclone. And there's the fantastic design of Cyclone in the 217 pounds. He's got incredible spin and disc on the front of that, but he's a little bit light in the horsepower department. From Napa, California, Probophobia. Low to the ground, Probophobia in at 171 pounds. He's got that lift and fork for a weapon, and he's really quick. Lake Helen, Florida, Spin Doctor. And there's the Spin Doctor in her 204 pounds, a real mash unit with a spinning disc with steel teeth on it, and it's invertible. Roboteers, stand by. There's Team Probophobia and Spin Doctor and Cyclone sharing the booth together. And in this fight, they'll be facing Ted Metal with a pincer and the saw. And of course, Sergeant Batch with his pincers and his heater. Three, two, one, activate. And RefBot gives the green light to start the second battle. Robophobia is not wasting any time as it runs right into Cyclone. And Cyclone's disc just seems to stop. Something must have gotten knocked off a Cyclone because they are not moving. They seem powerless. If you look at it again, you'll see the Probophobia knocked loose the failsafe off of the back of Cyclone, which made them immobilized. And that's a real pity because I wanted to see Cyclone inflict some damage here on the hospitalization crew. And now the low to the ground Probophobia is taking those probes straight into the side of Spin Doctor. The spin Doctor brings that disc around the side of Probophobia. He knows what's good for him. He'll stay out of the way of those probes. And look at Cyclone upside down and dead to the world. As RefBot counts down with the audience. It's all over for those guys. What a shame as Dead Metal comes in and adds insult to injury. Poor Cyclone. Well, these guys worked really hard on this bot. You can tell by the design. But they should have worked a little harder on the fail-safe button to have it not fly off so easy. Because these guys were out of it before they even got in. And there he gets flipped up by the ramp back on its tracks again. But no power whatsoever as Dead Metal is bringing him ever closer to the pit. As the audience is chanting for the pit, Cyclone obliges them. ride for Probophobia and Spin Doctor as they go through to the next battle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, no doubt about that one at all. It seems like the Cyclone is out of there and Probophobia and the Spin Doctor will advance in our tournament. Let's hear it for both these teams. All right, as you know, Probophobia, Spin Doctor will move on. Guys, unfortunately, 
one of you's got to go, and it seems like it's going to be the Cyclone. i got to admit, that was an impressive-looking machine. You got that one good blast in. It looked really impressive yesterday. I was talking to you. You saw it go through some pallets. But unfortunately, you weren't up against pallets today, were you? Uh, no. Uh, unfortunately, Cyclone was just too powerful. It knocked his own power link out. Well, you told me that you, your team only had one weakness, and that was if you were flipped, you were in trouble. And it looks like you guys put them in some trouble as you flipped them right over in their back. That's right. We stuck it to them and put the hurt on them. But there, now, here's a little issue I've got. You guys are pretending to be doctors, but this young man uh, over here actually is the chief medical examiner for Daytona Beach, Florida. Tell me about that. That's right. I am a doctor. I'm not an engineer, but I want to play one on TV. All right. Thanks. Don't ever grab the mic from me again, though. Okay. But nevertheless, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations this year for all these teams. Thank you. Hey guys, what happened? Uh, on that first hit, this master power link of ours popped out and the robot went totally dead. So this is the piece that knocked you out of the race? Yep, that's our robot's basic on-off switch. You know, something so simple can be so frustrating. It is very frustrating. Well, good luck next time and we hope to see you back sometime. Thank you. Okay. We'll be back. There it is, Cyclone out because of their power link. So here's how it looks for the next round. Panzer Mark IV and Spin Doctor and Snake Bite up against Probophobia. Cyclone, the one-hit wonder. You hit him once and you wonder what the heck happened. When we come back, Spin Doctor and Probophobia move on to round two. Don't miss it. Welcome back to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. Joker and Cyclone have already been eliminated. They are out of the competition. Let's go to the battle boards and see the matchups for round number two. All right, Mick. Snake bite up against Probophobia, but first up, Panzer Mark IV against Spin Doctor. And now down to Carol in the pits. We're at the beginning of the second round. We've got the Spin Doctors going up against the U.S. champions, Panzer. How do you feel about going up against the champions? I feel great. We've got some new teeth. We've got all our, our problems fixed, and we're ready to carve it up. You're not having any intimidating feelings at all? No, we're going to give that pansy a robolectomy. Okay, well, what do you think about that, Panzer? All smack talk gets left in the ring. So you have a feeling that you're going to be able to defend your title? I think it'll be an interesting match. Both of us have our weaknesses and strengths, and we'll see how it comes out. But that's not a yes or a no. Don't know the future. Well, good luck. Thank you. I'm Dr. Adam, and this is Dr. Tom, and this is our robot spin doctor, and he's wanted in three states for malpractice because of this disc right here, and what we're going to do is cut them open to find out what color their insides are. Yeah! I'm Todd Mendenhall. This is my wife, Valerie, and my friend, Jim. Together, we make up Team Stealth. This is our robot, Panzer Mark IV. Panzer Mark IV is a tough little beast, and we're ready to rumble. Robotier, stand by. There's Panzer Mark IV, looking awesome as usual. And the Panzer team, Todd and Valerie Mendenhall and Jim Hart. Their spin doctor with Dr. Adam Baxter at the controls with Dr. Thomas Beaver as moral support. And in his first appearance today, the big daddy of them all, Sir Killalot. And joining him in the war zone will be shot with that diamond edge axe. Three, two, one, activate. Here we go. Panzer Mark IV off to a speedy start. Looking to hospitalize Spin Doctor. Definitely going to be a strategic battle, this one. Spin Doctor knows its weaknesses up against the power of Panzer. As Panzer pushes him around, and Spin Doctor uses RefBot as a screen. Panzer didn't like that at all, and he's going to make Spin Doctor feel it. 
look at the speed and power off a of Panzer Mark IV. Flipping Spin Doctor over, who's fortunately an invertible bot. However, they've lost off of that last collision, that chain that drives the only weapon they've got. As they back into the pin release trigger, the pin is gonna open up, and as quickly as they hit the trigger, they hit the pin with a little unassisted roboticide. The audience is screaming pit, but they've got it already. And a little bit of strategy. It seemed as if Spin Doctor opened that pit up for Panzer and not themselves. Let's take another look at how that happened. First of all, Panzer gave a mean hit to Spin Doctor. Head up, that disc was already immobilized. You can see the chain swinging on it. But the big question is, after that hit from Panzer, was it Spin Doctor's strategy to open up that pit and use the arena for a weapon, or was it just bad driving that found him in the hole? Well, either way, all that speculation doesn't make a bit of difference because Panzer goes through to the next round, and Spin Doctor is history. Thank you. Well, that's very nice of you. Well, listen, it looks like the Spin Doctor goes into the pit of his own design and Panzer kind of rolls on through to the finals. Let's talk to both teams. All right, now, like I was saying, you guys kind of went into the pit all on your own very own. What the heck is the deal? Well, we didn't have much after our weapon failed, and then uh, they were just being out pushed you know that they got uh, a lot more motors than we do we have more in our weapon and it didn't work so did you in medical terms did you decide to euthanize your own uh, robot there well i think we're gonna have to go back and cut him open pull out all his guts and uh and see what went wrong all right now panzer all right does, what does this do for you guys rolling into the finals are you confident or does that are there still some question marks about your ability you didn't really get to show anything out there well we got to take some damage on on the front and showed how sturdy it was. Uh, we definitely have the horsepower to push, and that helped, but uh, there's always somebody lurking okay, out there. Okay, in the final, though, I'd be willing to, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that nobody's going to open up the pit and roll in on their own. You guys are going to have to prove yourselves. You bet. All right, and we're looking forward to it. Let's hear it for all the Roboteers. to the spin doctor well i was uh driving around there i lost my uh rangier there and uh, then I, I guess i didn't notice a big hole in the floor so um that's what killed us it's unfortunate you you missed the hole you spun out you got in the pit everything that could go wrong went wrong what was going through your mind i'm losing i'm losing <laughs> right i'm losing so well, uh, you know what it's unfortunate you had a good good first round Second round didn't do so well, but uh, we hope to see you again sometime. Thank you. And there it is. Spin Doctor is out of there. Panzer Mark IV go through to meet the winner of Snakebite and Probophobia. Well, it seems like the Spin Doctor prescribed his own demise. He prescribed it when he hit the pit button and drove into the pit, launching Panzer into the final round. When we come back, will Snakebite sink its teeth into Probophobia? Don't go away. Welcome back to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. Panzer has already secured its spot in tonight's finals. Who will be its worthy opponent? Let's go to the battle board and get the next matchup. All right, Vic, and that is Snakebite up against Probophobia. Now, one of these guys is going to have to go up against Panzer for the final. We're at battle two of the second round. We have Snakebite versus Probophobia. Probophobia, what do you think? What's your strategy? Snakebite has had their last victim. Dr. Probe is going to inject them with their own venom, and then we're going to pick them up and spin them all around and throw them in the pit. That'll be the end of Snake Bite, and we're moving on. Yeah, you sound pretty confident. Well, we're going to be confident when we uh, have them hanging by our probes. Okay. Yeah. Snake Bite, what do you think? Well, yeah, with a set of goal posts. What are you going to do with a set of goal posts? Go probes. Probes. My probes. Butt. We're going to get those go posts up your butt. We're going to push push your We're going to push your butt. Right out right your mouth. Hey, hey, right out your mouth. Hey, hey, I'm 
I'm Bob. This is my teammate Mike and Michael. We're Team Viper. This is our robot snake bite. It's a solid steel construction, six wheel drive. We have lots of power and we're here to take a bite out of the competition of Robot Wars. We are the control freaks. This is my wife, Jan, my daughter, Gina. My name is Jeff. This is our, ro our robot, Probophobia, and it's time to operate. And I don't operate to heal, I operate to kill. Nurse, stick it to you, can you hand me my probe? Roboteer, stand by. And there's Probophobia with our probes in attention and Team Probophobia with Jeff, Jan, and Jenna Banks. And there's Snakebite with Bob Allen, Mike Marino, and Michael Garrett. And the house bots in this round will be shunt with that Diamond Edge axe. And Jordan and Shunt will be Big Daddy at 616 pounds, Sir Killalot. Three, two, one. And here we go, Probophobia, just like the first round, immediately steams in there right towards Snakebite and lifts Snakebite up with those probing arms. They got quite a bit of power. And look at that thing. What a great design. It's also a self writing mechanism as well as a weapon. Probophobia knows how to work it. As they put those skewers ready to Snakebite for a little snake kebab. Snake bite being held high, 200 plus pound snake bite is, which means Probophobia has got some mean power behind him. As he takes snake bite over, skewered as he is, he's flailing him around in the air. The audience wants some pit action. He's got a lot of choices here, Probophobia. He can chuck snake bite right out of the arena if he wanted to, but he's opted for the pit release. The pit goes down as we're looking at Snakebite impaled on the probes of Probophobia. Probophobia bringing in Snakebite ever closer to a certain demise. And Probophobia better watch it because they could get high-sided with all that weight up in the air. He's going to let him down slow if he knows what's good for him, if he can get out of it. Oh, he's almost stuck himself in there as well as Jeff Banks knows his strategy was intact all the way from the beginning. Z. Man, was that some great driving? Was that some great driving? It seemed like Probophobia just kind of hooking its probe inside Snakebite and lowering it down, down into the pit. We're going to talk to both teams. I saw that snake bite can drive upside down. I thought, okay, maybe probophobia won't be effective against you, but got its probe in there, had its way. What, how do you feel about that? Well, he said something about he was going to do something to our butt, and I think he did. So I guess those goalposts. I'm hoping that something out. was kicking it. Yeah. He didn't get yeah. more descriptive. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. All right. Okay. All right. You did a great job. Probophobia, some really, really impressive driving. Like I said, I thought maybe the probes wouldn't be effective because it could drive upside down, but you kind of hooked its way in there. Was that intentional? Yes, it was. That's what the design's all about. Get in there, get your, uh, get my probe up in him, and uh, deliver the venom to him. <laughs> Very well put. Now you go into the finals against Panzer. Do you, how do you like your chances? Uh, Panzer's pretty fast. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, you think you can flip him? Oh, if I get my probe up under him, he's dead. All right. Everyone did a great job. I'm looking forward to the finals. Let's hear it for all our Roboteers. What happened, guys? Well, you know, it only takes one little opening. You, you cover everything, and there's just one little opening for something to get into. Lifted us up, and we we're kind of helpless at that point. What are you going to do? That's unfortunate. You know? Seems yeah. like you lost your venom. Well, yeah, but we lost to the nice team. They're a great team. I hope they do well, and I think they will. If they can get, they can just lift just about anything. So well, uh, we, we hope, hope to do see well. you back. Oh yeah, we'll be back. There it is. Snake bite gets bitten as Probophobia goes through. And this is how the finals looking. Panzer Mark IV up against Probophobia. 
some fancy driving was the antidote to the poison snake bite was dishing out. Provophobia took the reptile for a ride straight into the pit and out of the competition. When we come back, tonight's finalists go at it when Panzer tries to gun down Provophobia. You don't want to miss it. Thank you. Thank you, Robot Wars. Extreme Warriors is back. So far, we've had a killer tournament, eliminating four of our Extreme Warriors in two rounds of outrageous action. The final round will determine the winner and first finalist of the Robot Wars Extreme Warriors Championship is coming up. But first, let's take a look at how we got here. All right, Mick, we started out with six bots. We're down to two now. We saw Cyclone, Spin Doctor, and Probophobia fight it out. And before that, we saw Panzer Mark IV up against Joker and Snakebite. Three. Let's take a look two, at some of the highlights one. from that first battle. Activate. Panzer Mark IV, the reigning champ, went up against Joker, who they saw in the last series as well. Joker didn't do too well and got laughed out of the arena practically. Courtesy of the six-wheel drive redesigned Panzer Mark IV, who had so much power, nobody could go heads up with him. Snakebite was just lurking in the background. Part of their strategy was to hope the other two bots would take each other out. Unfortunately for Snakebite, Panzer came right after him. With a little help from Sergeant Bash. Todd Mendenhall and team from Palos Verdes, California weren't about to give up that championship too easily. His driving skills were highly proficient and nobody could get near him. So all that was left to do was for Joker and Snakebite to prove their worthiness because this thing went down to a judge's decision. Unfortunately, Snakebite went through and Joker was in for a world of hurt. Welcome to Joker's House of Pain. Then in the next round, we saw Probophobia, Cyclone, and Spin Doctor go at it. Immediately, we saw Probophobia go straight into Cyclone and immobilize him completely, knocked his power link out. And just like Formula One racing, they got a kill switch on these robots. And it got knocked off. They were out of there from the beginning. If you look back at that again, you'll see that power link fly right off the back of Cyclone. Cyclone just got blown away by Probophobia, which meant that the house bots could come in and have their way with the immobilized bot. And to have their way, they did. They got them airborne for a second. Then Dead Metal came in with that grinding wheel and escorted Cyclone ever closer to the pit of no return. The audience was chanting for it, and Dead Metal didn't disappoint them. Cyclone's first hit was so powerful, we knocked our own power link out, but we'll get him next time. Which meant that Joker and Cyclone were the first two victims. Which meant the next round looked like this. Panzer and Spin Doctor up against each other head to head. And as usual, Panzer Mark IV had all the power. Knocked the disc right out of Spin Doctor from the first mash saw the chain hanging there like that and the invertible spin doctor got flipped and was still running just enough to back into that pit trigger like that and then back itself into the pit well panzer mark IV did all the hard work in the beginning and let spin doctor take himself out in the end the crowd was begging for a burial and spin doctor didn't disappoint anybody Well, I guess we're going to have to do an autopsy on him, then maybe we're going to get some pain medication. And in the next battle, we saw Snakebite try to do its best against Probophobia, but Probophobia proved to be just too awesome. 250 pound lifting power on those probe arms brought Snakebite up into the stratosphere, skewered him by his six wheel drive motors and took him ever closer to the pit of oblivion. 
where he carefully lowered snake bite ever closer to his end and made sure he didn't put himself in the pit in the same motion. But he didn't, and Probophobia proved to be too strong for snake bite. The venom has been injected. <laughs> So that brings us up to date. Snake Bite and Spin Doctor are out of there. And here's the final. Panzer Mark IV up against Probophobia. Just below me, you can see Probophobia is working frantically on his machine because after the break, he'll be taking on Panzer for a place in the top eight. So keep watching Robot Wars Extreme Warriors on the new TNN. We are back, and the time has come for Panzer and Probophobia to settle the score. Let's get ready to rumble. We're back in the pits, right outside the tunnel. This is for all the marbles. Whoever wins this battle goes on to the grand finale. I've got the U.S. champs right here, Panzer, going against Probophobia. You guys are the title holders. What are you going to do to keep that title? Well, winning is good, but... We're here to have fun, and we're facing a pretty formidable bot. Well, winning would be a good strategy. Winning would be a good strategy. <laughs> All right, well, good luck. Provophobia, what are you going to do? Well, we face some pretty bad bots uh, at this competition, and Panzer's big, they're strong, but they're not going to last long. They're just going to be another patient slash victim on our list. What about the blood pressure? Is it kind of rising, knowing that you're going up against the big Panzer? Well, we're pretty excited about taking them out, so we're going to have a good time with them and try to probe the heck out of them. Well, good luck. This is really close. It's really exciting, and we're ready to go. Roboteer. Stand by. Todd Mendenhall and crew. And out of Napa, California, the Banks family. And the house spots for the final is going to be Sir Killalot. And joining Sir Killalot will be the capable flame throwing hands of Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. Uh, here it is for the final. It's going to be Robotastic. These are two awesome competitors. They're sizing each other up as we speak. Strategy is going to be everything, and it looks like Panzer's strategy is to stick Probophobia right into the capable arms of Bash, which he's done, as Killalot comes in there as well. Bash has got the pincers right down on the probe of Probophobia. Wow! He launches Panzer! Panzer comes in there from nowhere. He must have had 30 miles an hour on him. Got some major speed and lift. Probophobia came a little late with those probes. And now Panzer's back in Probophobia into the other corner patrol zone. Probophobia has got to get out of that corner if it wants to do any damage. Panzer has got some great driving skills here. Todd Mendenhall knows exactly what to do. They're both going at it like there's no tomorrow, and for one of them, there will be no tomorrow. And it looks a lot like Probophobia for the moment as Killalot goes in with the pincers and drives Probophobia out by the probe to the center of the arena, swings Probophobia around into Bash, and all of Panzer's strategy may be going out of the window with the help from the house bots. But Panzer, if he knows what's good for him, will stay away from those probes if they're still working. They've definitely taken a beating from the house bots this time. Yeah, he's still got some lift on him. But Panzer is just taking him from the side, and that's it. As he pushes Probophobia right into the grinders, and Probophobia gets out of the way just in time. Panzer still got all the speed, and Probophobia better get its bot in gear if it wants to do anything. Probophobia just hasn't had the opportunity to take a run at Panzer like Panzer's doing right now. Panzer takes a good run at Probophobia, pushing him across the arena, straight into the arena disc trigger. There's the trigger alarm. 
So that spinning disc has got teeth on it, which certainly would rip the underneath side of any low-slung bot like both of these are. Probophobia is looking like they're in a bit of trouble. And Panzer is going to take advantage of it. Panzer knows better than to go at Probophobia from the front. He's just dominating from the side. Probophobia just doesn't know what to do at this point. Panzer has got it all. And there's no question in my mind how these guys are the reigning champs. Probophobia had some great design structure, though, and some strategy until this round. But it was all about Panzer. And Panzer has now put Probophobia in the pit zone and hit the trigger afterwards. And there it is. They were already impaled on that pit. And they're not going anywhere, that's for sure. Their wheels must be spinning underneath. Probophobia's definitely got a fear of Panzer at this point because it is close to all over. Panzer nudges Probophobia into the pit a little more, and it's the pits for the doctor. Well, now we know why the Panzer is the defending U.S. champion. A very, very good showing there against Probophobia, which was a tough robot, and Panzer is our first entrant into the finals. Probophobia, after a very, very impressive performance in the semifinals, it looked like you had things going your way. Let's face it, all you need is that one probe to lift your opponent, and it would have been a victory, but it didn't turn out that way. Any regrets? No, none whatsoever. They were just uh, faster and stronger than I was, and um, did my best, and it uh, didn't work out my way. I'll get them next time. Okay, but you still did very well. Now, you two, I couldn't help but notice that uh, when the victory was yours, you two shared a, a long and warm embrace, and I think it's just another example of Robot Wars bringing families together. <laughs> Unfortunately, you did it at poor Gina's expense. You devastated her, but uh, important victory, and congratulations on the final. Yeah, they were great competitors. I knew that just an inch here or there, and I was in trouble, and we kept pounding them, and they kept coming back. I was quite impressed with their robot. Were you impressed with your husband's hugging ability? I'm impressed with everything he does. All right, there you go. Listen, that's our show for today. But stay tuned to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors next week when six more robots will fight it out in a quest for the championship. Until then, Gina, fight on. Next time on Robot Wars Extreme Warriors, we're going to have some more metal match and mayhem with Manta. And we'll get a chance to see if Medusa Oblongata can.